After a big weekend of volleyball here at Moby Arena, all is quiet. But after six matches, Colorado State wins their own tournament, including knocking off another ranked opponent. Welcome back. I'm Matt Wozniak. This is Tom Hilbert. Before we get into the Michigan match, you got to start with Ball State. You dropped the first set. It seemed like there weren't a whole lot of adjustments. You just were able to just perform a little bit better doing what you wanted to do to be successful. Is that true? Well, I, yeah, we didn't make any distinct adjustments. We made some adjustments in how we were playing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We didn't have as many giveaway points. Uh, Brianna Reynolds started that match off hitting four unforced hitting errors, which is uncharacteristic. Sure. So as a coach, you have to just write it off and go, okay, maybe the odds are now she's going to have way less, you know, because uh, she, she had more to begin with. But um, we played better and we began to understand who Ball State was and that really made the biggest difference. And then, again, it comes down to serving and passing. And, and when that part of our game is stable, it allows the other stuff to work. Uh, Colorado State had to go into extras to take that second frame, but then rolled with the other two to get the 3-1 victory. Then they turned their attention that evening to the University of Michigan. Both teams had played that day, so it wasn't like there was a, a physical difference. I don't know if I expected you guys to have just eight hitting errors the entire match, but that's less a function of your hitters as it is your setter, isn't it? I think they both have a role in that. Sure. And it's certainly, you know, the hitters, we want them to take big swings and sometimes they're gonna make mistakes, but again, they didn't make them, you know, on, on, on Friday night. It was a really clean match in terms of service errors and unforced hitting errors. And so if you do that, what, what you're doing is you're forcing the other team to score more than they're used to. Mm -hmm. And uh, it helped us beat a very good Michigan team. So I was very excited about the way we played. Yeah, and the other big story of that match was the return of Alexander Paletto. She didn't play in the earlier match. She came back. She was effective. And you mentioned that you felt like Katie Olixak used her well. She used Paulina she Hogard Jensen well. What does that mean for those of us who are just trying to watch? Like, does she just playing to their strengths, knows where they're going to go? Well, she her tempos to them were very consistent that's first but secondly she chose the right times to set them where they didn't have double blocks on them Got it. and uh, that that really helps uh, uh, Paulina mm -hmm. because Paulina gets around behind really quickly and can hit around a single block but she has trouble hitting around a double block um, Paletto we just didn't want to overuse her sure. and, and force a lot of balls to her in her first match back so we set her at the right times and she got I think four out of seven kills yeah she was great the interiors were great and it carried over in Ida State, State a victory a clean sweep over the Bengals for the championship you just mentioned Pauline Hogard Jensen she was just named the Mountain West defensive player of the year she's gone 20 straight kills and no errors yet she gets the defensive yeah, she was doing it all it's player of the week, by the way. Oh, did I say year? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. She's been great. What do you want me to say? No. She, she Paulina um, played great in every phase. Yeah. I just think the Mountain West had to give us an offense and defense, so they chose her because she blocked the ball well. But um, she did a great job blocking. She did an unbelievable job hitting. Um, she was just all around really solid for us. And so was, so was Sonia, yeah. who was offensive player of the week. And they're both on the, hitting mostly on the same side of the court. And that was a game plan element for us. We want to attack the right side of the court against teams that we feel like are good defensively. And um, both of these teams gave us that matchup, and it worked. Yep, so player of the week honors swept by Colorado State in an outstanding performance and a championship. Now you turn your attention to this week. You got the University of Albany, the Great Danes, one of my favorite nicknames in all of sports, coming in uh, on Friday. And then another match. You got two matches on Saturday, including CU. What can you expect? Well, we've got to prepare for Albany and Xavier before we play CU. But we'll probably take a peek at some CU film during Think this just week. A little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. Um, but, you know, we're not going to have problems getting our team fired up to play. They're going to be ready to play. And, um, you know, I, I think CU is a great team. They're 7-1 and one as well. They just had a win over Illinois. Uh, I think we're going to be very, very common and, and like opponents. Uh, I want to get about 8,000 people in Moby Arena so that we can really – make this place nuts and have a great time watching a great volleyball match. Yeah, it took the words right out of my mouth. Colorado State had a great crowd here for the Orange out against Michigan. They want to top that with that big in-state rivalry match before Colorado State moves on to Mountain West play. Coach, congratulations on a great weekend. Well done. Thank you. That's head coach Tom Hilbert. I'm Matt Wozniak. We'll see you back here next week on Ram Vision at CSURams.com.